Hey guys, how's it going? Say hi, Dawson. Hi. Yeah, good job. So I was just fooling around the other day, and I got this uh, Saber Tooth 990 FX motherboard in here, and uh, this thing's been giving me a lot of trouble. It's been freezing a lot, and just I don't know. It's it's giving me a lot of hell. Anyways, uh, I was just checking it out, and I ended up going to. Uh, the, the ASUS website here and I noticed that uh, there's a BIOS update that I could do and uh, here let's just uh, let's just go through it right now actually ASUS and we're actually I wanted to show you the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna look for what version of BIOS that we have and uh, what the uh, motherboard that we have so we're gonna run a program called MS Info so I'm gonna hit the start button here I'm gonna go to start and I'm just gonna look for MS Info and I'm gonna hit enter and there you go it comes up with this screen alright so right now there's a bunch of stuff that it tells us on here and it's telling us our processor and it's telling us our manufacturer our uh, baseboard which is the motherboard so it's uh, made by Asus and our BIOS version which is right here our BIOS version is 2501 so we're gonna go to the Asus website and actually no we're gonna do a Google search like I wanted to do 990 FX that's the name of my motherboard and Asus and I said there it is right there so we're gonna click on it and then I'm gonna go to support and then I'm gonna go to drivers and tools and I'm gonna wait for it to load. Come on, computer, select my OS. Windows 10 64 bit, that's what I got, but it doesn't really matter because this is BIOS that we're talking about. It doesn't matter what OS you got. So, yeah, we found our motherboard. So, then the Sabertooth 990 FX Revision 2. And then we went to uh, our BIOS here. And. The Saber 2 990 FX BIOS version 2501, that's the one that we have right here, and that's the one that we have, and it's 2014, and two years later, they came out with a new version, and look at what it says, improved system stability, that's, it. that's like exactly what I'm looking for, so we're going to go ahead and download this one, so it downloaded right there already, and we're going to go ahead and open it. And there's a cap file inside it, so I'm gonna extract this cap file. So I'm gonna go extract to, and I'm gonna extract this cap file to a temp folder which I created a long time ago. So temp folder right there, extract to. Okay, all right. So now, so now we're gonna use this little USB, and we're gonna put this cap file that we downloaded onto this USB drive. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this in my computer. <laughs> Alright, so we stuck it in. I'm going to open my file manager here, which is on my other screen there. <coughs> okay. And we're gonna close all these folders here that are open here. Okay, so alright, I stuck it in and it is called USB drive. It's the USB drive drive E and I got some pictures on it right now, so I'm gonna delete those. I'm gonna delete those pictures. And we extracted our file into the temp folder. So we're gonna go in the temp folder, we're gonna find our file, which is the Sabertooth file here. And I'm gonna copy it. And I'm gonna paste it onto my USB drive. Paste. It takes about a second and it is now re uh, pasted, pasted in there. So I'm going to close all this stuff and uh, now that all this is done uh, we're going to be heading into BIOS so let's go into BIOS and check it out. Okay, so we got the computer restarting here. 
Come on, computer. Oh yeah, it's gonna be my other monitor, I think. This monitor comes up at boot. So there it is. And then it's gonna go to my, uh, I got a RAID controller card here, so it's gonna do that first. And then it's gonna come back to this logo where I'm gonna hit delete. There it is. So I hit delete a couple times. And then this is what my BIOS looks like. All right. So we're gonna go, first off, we're gonna go to the advanced mode, which is down here. Advanced mode and to advanced mode. And then we're gonna go to tools over here. And we're gonna go to the easy flash to utility. That's the one that we're looking for, all right? So we're gonna hit that one. And this is gonna load up. And then it says folder info, save it to cat file 2901. That is exactly the one that we are looking for. It's popped up right away. I didn't even have to check on any drives, but these are the drive info here. So if if it's not right there right away, you know, maybe it's in a different drive, so you might want to try a different drive here. So anyways, I'm going to select this file here. Do you want to read the file? It might take about 10 to 20 seconds. Please wait on OK. We're going to hit OK. So it's reading the file. 10 to 20 seconds, it says. Do you want to update BIOS? It might take about 5 to 10 seconds for the BIOS file to load. OK. Yes. So we wait. And it should take about 10 seconds. It said processing at the bottom there. Processing, it's going across uh, slowly. A uh, little bit, uh, it's gonna take a little bit longer than 10 seconds. But there she goes. All right, so it took, yeah, it took about four minutes here. And it's finally done. And it says update stressful, reset. So we're gonna hit okay. And it should just reset, hopefully, keep the fingers crossed. And boots up. And here it goes. Okay, rig controller card. <coughs> and there it is. And we're gonna enter the BIOS here again. Here we go. Uh, please enter setup to recover by us. Uh, USB detected. Total memory 16 gigs. I think looking good here. It's just a uh, new, new BIOS here. So uh, we're gonna have some a uh, little bit of setting up to do. But uh, there you go. We got the newest BIOS version 2901 up top there. It says right there. So we're all updated, and hopefully the system works better now. Thank you.